Hey everybody, before the day ends, I wanted to say happy Savor Your Life Saturday. It's Savor Your Life Saturday in my world and in the world of those that I work with as a Thriving Mindfully coach. And Savor Your Life Saturday is all about celebrating your small, medium, and big wins. And I want to invite you to celebrate your small, medium, and big wins. You don't have to wait till Savor Your Life Saturday. You can do it on Slow Down Sunday, Mindful Monday, Take Care of Yourself Tuesday, Wellness Wednesday, Thankful Thursday, or Fun Day Friday. Don't wait. Savor your life by celebrating your wins. All right? Now, I did want to share some examples of how I have been able to celebrate my wins this week. Today, I had a chance to really reflect on a couple of things that have come up this week, and they were juicy, joyful wins. The first one is that this has been an intense, busy week for me in serving my clients. And um, yesterday, I really had time to... um, to sip some some water. Yeah, it was that basic. I was sipping water and uh, just sitting sitting at my kitchen table, sipping some water. And it came to me how juicy and joyful it was to witness the impact that I made in the lives of those that I served at the National Collective for Health Equities Conference this week. I facilitated three different wellness sessions and at each session, I was able to see as well as hear um, and receive the reflections from the folks about the impact that I had with them. And I was able to really feel that today feel it as a win and I decided to celebrate this evening by wearing my favorite mindful t-shirt um, the material is soft it feels good once you get out of the shower it was great to practice in yoga with the t-shirt yeah that was how I celebrated so it was that it was that simple it wasn't anything you know, that I went out and bought. It was just something I had here. And I moisturized my feet after I scrubbed them and I put on my favorite socks that say, I am awesome. So that is um, one way I celebrated a win. Another win that I had um, that I recognized was a win was the, the privilege that I've had to work with my parents and sharing their stories. My mom and I created a podcast last year called A Culture Pro Legacy Podcast to celebrate her 63 years of being a member of Sigma Gamma Rho Sorority Incorporated and the centennial celebration of the sorority. And to be able to work with my mother from April to December of 2022 to tell her story to share lessons learned, aha moments, um, the experiences she had, getting to know the founders, some of the founders of the organization when she joined and as she grew in her leadership, her leadership lessons. Yeah, that, um, that really hit me today as I was sitting and thinking about um, the privilege that I've had and how beautiful a gift spirit has given me and my mom has given me and how we've been able to share in ways that have empowered, inspired, and impacted sorors and other people who may listen to it on Spotify. Go to A Culture Pearls Legacy podcast on Spotify to hear the stories and aha moments and wisdom of my mother, Teresa B. Leak, Soror Teresa B. Leak, uh, and her 63 years of wisdom of being a member and a leader of Sigma Gamma Rho Sorority Incorporated. The second 
um, part of that wind of being able to honor and um, share and support my parents in telling their stories with my gifts is the work that I've been doing over the last three years with my dad on his memoir. And today I really had a chance to think about, wow, this, this is an incredible gift the universe has given me, both as John Leake, Dr. John Leake's daughter and being able to help him tell the story for me to grow during this journey like nobody's business. I'm gonna write a book about the whole experience, y'all, one day. To be able to um, witness my dad's experience of writing and sharing and telling his story in the aha moments. And to know that um, as, a, as a daughter, one of the greatest gifts that I can I can receive and give is to hold space and to support um, my parents in what they want to do in the way that I know best because they supported and held space for me and continue to do so as their child, even at 58. So those two experiences really were juicy and joyful and that is why I have on my favorite t-shirt and I moisturize my feet and I put on my favorite socks so those are some examples of how I celebrated those are some examples of how I um, looked at my wins now I want to encourage you to take some time really truly take some time whether it's a minute five minutes whether it's journaling whether it's just sitting with yourself standing with yourself maybe you're just laying in bed thinking what are some of my wins this week or this month or maybe over the past six months or the past seven years think about it what are some of your wins and then how can you celebrate yourself as a, as a society, we don't do that enough. And I have found that self-celebration is one of the best self-love, self-worth, and self-care practices that we can engage in. All three of those things are our birthright. Self-love, self-worth, and self-care, in addition to mindfulness. Self-celebration is a great mindfulness practice too. So get with it, y'all, and celebrate. Maybe you give yourself a dance party. Fix yourself your favorite meal or wear your favorite colors. Whatever it is, celebrate yourself. Celebrate yourself. Because that's saying that you love yourself, you value yourself, and that you care about yourself. All right? I will uh, share more. If you want to know more about the work that I do, go to anandalik.com. And if you want to follow me on social media, follow me on Instagram, LinkedIn, TikTok, and YouTube as Ananda Leek. It has been a joy to be able to share my gifts on social media with you. I'd love to hear how you are doing in your self-care, your self-celebration, your mindfulness practices. So drop me a line. See you next time. Bye.